Hey guys, in today's video I am checking out a gimbal sent to me by Hohem. This is a gimbal with a suspension. Super excited to check this thing out because I've never seen anything quite like it. Before I get into it though, two really quick announcements. Number one, if your name is 2800 boy, then you have not contacted me about you winning the lens that I reviewed in my last video. So get me your address so I can send that out to you uh, so you can try it out. Number two is that two weeks ago, my wife and I introduced our little boy Lucas into the world. Uh, I have not taken very many photos, maybe a couple of glamour shots or two or three. Mommy and baby are doing excellent. Thank you guys so much for all of your support over the last couple of videos that I posted. My sleep schedule is not ideal, but I would not trade it for the world. So I'm very excited. Anyway, let's get into this box to see what comes with this gimbal. So this is the box that the gimbal comes in. You can see Hohem iSteady Gear Z Kit. It's a three axis handled stabilizing gimbal for DSLR and mirrorless cameras with spring dual handle. And that is what makes this thing really unique. I'm excited about that. So around the other side, you get um, more information and you actually get a see a picture of what the whole thing looks like all assembled. All right, so inside you have another box that slides out. And then you have some foam. And packed separately is that spring handle. So this surprisingly is made out of plastic. So it's not super heavy, which is good. Um, but yeah, it's, a, it's just a plastic piece, some nice grip handles, and then some tripod mounts on the top. And you have a little extra adapter here. And then you have a little mount here for either an external monitor or maybe a cell phone um, so that you can see kind of what you're recording as you are recording. So that is all the handle. Now the gimbal itself comes in a separate box, as you can see here. Very nice, so you have a little strap here. And I do like when gimbals come in these hard plastic cases. Uh, just very convenient to carry around with you. And inside, you have another quick start guide. You have a battery charger, tripod for the bottom of the gimbal, a tool for tripod. You have a micro USB cable the mounting plate for the camera. You can see there's measurements, uh, grippy surface, nice thumb screws, red accents, and a tripod mount screw. Here is the handle for the gimbal, very smooth coated rubber. Um, and then I believe it looks like the batteries are in here, jammed in there with the plastic wrap still on. So there's one and there's another one in there. And last but not least, the gimbal itself. Hohem logo at the very bottom, micro USB, a tiny little toggle joystick. Let's see if I can get that very small. There it is. Um, you have a little power button, I'm assuming, and then a lever that is not labeled. Around the top, you can see that there is a spot here, a mini USB to plug into your camera if you're gonna try to pull focus. Um, or perhaps use some other accessories with this gimbal. So overall, this thing looks pretty awesome. The thing I'm most excited about is by far these spring-loaded handles. And here it is all assembled. As you can see, it's pretty standard as far as what's in the middle. And then this is the exciting bit where you have a little bit of play to absorb your bumps as you're recording video. So very excited to test this thing out and see what sort of footage we get with it. Just a couple of things to point out. The controls on this gimbal are really nice. This little toggle is one of the nicest ones that I've tried on a gimbal. Very nice and sensitive. It's quick, it's easy to use. The only problem is, is obviously as you're using dual handles on either end, you really have to shift and try to make adjustments without a remote control. This arm at the bottom, there are a number of adjustments here. Obviously you secure it in the middle here with the red screws. And then there is some tension um, knobs on either side. And in fact, there are some down here as well. Um, so you can adjust how firm or how loose this, uh, this spring is. 
in relation to how heavy your camera setup is. Also, these handles right here have a knob on the front, so you can flip them sideways or upside down if you want to um, for just a different type of grip if you're into that. All of the modes on this gimbal are accessed by pressing this center toggle switch. So the first one is your standard, you click it once, it will turn, it will not tilt up and down. The second one, two clicks. Uh, this one will follow your up and down motions. Number three is three clicks. This just locks it in place. And the fourth one allows you to tilt side to side and get some crazy shots if you want to. This gimbal has a bunch of little details such as the bubble level at, on the top plate to make sure that your plate and your camera is well balanced before you turn the gimbal on. There are little tripod mounts at the end of the arms and all of the cables are tucked away nicely. The last thing I wanna quickly show you is the app. Here is the app, it's called Hohem Gimset. Um, I don't know why, but it only has a one star rating in the Apple App Store. Um, but anyway, you can swipe through all of the different devices that they have. Um, so I have the iSteady gear and then you can click on connect device and there it is. So it connects via Bluetooth. And what's cool about this is that you have a bunch of settings down at the bottom. So you have standard control, so you can move the gimbal with a joystick. It shows you the battery level. This is by the way, after shooting about maybe three or four hours with the gimbal, it still is at full charge. The next thing over is calibration, pretty standard. There's a settings button here, which allows you to adjust how fast or slow the motors go, as well as how much torque the motors provide. So very cool. I made a couple of small tweaks here and there. Uh, last thing here is more, um, which features a user guide about us. So overall, the app experience is very positive. So now let's take a look at some sample videos with this thing. Now the camera that I'm using in these samples is my a6500. The lens that I'm using is this Sigma 16 millimeter f1.4. Here we go. So that is it for the sample videos. My takeaway from those videos is, again, the Sigma 16 is an amazing wide angle lens. If you guys have not looked into getting one of these things, I would highly encourage you to do so. Again, it's my favorite lens. And for gimbal work, there's nothing that I've used that is as good. It focuses quickly, very shallow depth of field, amazing colors, great in low light, 
and it is sharp corner to corner in almost every single situation that you put it against. So highly recommended. I'll post a link down below if you guys want to check it out and purchase it. Anyway, back to the gimbal. This thing is pretty awesome. I have not used anything like this before, and I have to say my experience with this has been very positive. Now, the one thing that I'll mention is that I do wish I had a thumb control on one of the ends of this grip because every single time I wanted to make an adjustment to my shot, I did have to move, and that's kind of awkward when you're standing up and you can only hold up one arm. You kind of have to grip it from the middle, make the adjustment, and then grab it like that. It's, it's not ideal. Um, but again, you could use your cell phone here. It's going to be pretty big though, so I don't know how functional that will be overall. The gimbal itself is very easy to balance and set up. All of the thumb screws are nice and easy to use. The plate at the bottom is one of the simplest and best designs I've seen. It just slides on and off one direction. There's no confusion, nothing crazy there. Um, there's a little button to release it. The motors on this gimbal are nice and silent as you would expect. No issues whatsoever once you get it balanced properly. Now using this gimbal on its own, I was able to get very steady shots. Um, when you add this dual grip, I do think that it makes an improvement. In fact, what I did was I had my brother help me by recording one video clip of me walking using the dual grip and another one of him just holding the center um, and seeing what type of difference you get just walking forward with this gimbal. And you can see that side by side, there is not a huge difference. Overall, I do think that the dual handles do add a little bit more stability and less up and down motion, but the gimbal by itself, just using the single grip is nice and smooth as well. Where I did see a noticeable improvement was when we started running and when he was chasing me using the dual handle grip, you can see that the shot is much, much smoother than using a standard single grip gimbal. As far as I know, Hohem is not selling this dual handle grip setup separately yet. If they did and they priced it at about $100, I think it would be a bargain and it would sell a ton um, because then you could use it on any gimbal that you have. So I think it's a very cool addition to, um, to this setup here. The one thing that I will mention is that as soon as you start to tilt the gimbal forward, Really, that up and down suspension does not help you at all. As you can see there, it really only helps if you are perfectly upright um, or maybe just a little bit forward or back. So that is going to wrap up my review of this gimbal. Overall, if you're using it independent of the dual grip, I don't think that it is as smooth or as stable as something like the Zion Crane 2, but using the dual handle grip, it comes very, very close. Um, if not slightly better even. So overall, a valiant, good, solid first effort from Hohem, a company again that I haven't heard of before, but they were generous enough to send this out for review. So uh, definitely check it out if you guys are in the market for a gimbal. If they do end up selling this dual handle grip separately on its own later on, I'll post a link down below as well. I'll update those to Amazon. As always, if you guys purchase through those links, you do help support the channel and our diaper fund, so thank you so much. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all of the likes, comments, and support. Stay tuned for more. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.